Hi, Glenn from Alex Motorsports. I want to show you today our new 7 litre 427 CI block. Uh, it's a fully machined, decked, bored, sleeved, align honed, cam bearings done, ready to assemble, perfect base for the next big cubic inch build for your LS. So these blocks start life as a Gen 4 alloy block. Used, uh, we find them that are in serviceable condition. Uh, then we, we get them cleaned, vapor blasted on the outside. They then get set up on the Rottler CNC machining center. And this is where the original 5.3 in this case, 5.3 sleeves get machined out and the appropriate ball gets then machined and a 4125 sleeve gets inserted. Now the CNC Rottler is a highly accurate machine dedicated to engine reconditioning. And the advantage of that is you correct any core shift that you'll find in, in blocks like an LS3 block where you have your, your original sleeve off to one side and then the bore is not centered to the sleeve. So in this case, every single bore is exactly where it should be. Between each bore, we have exactly 22 thousandths of an inch of aluminium left in the block and each sleeve is a consistent one eighth of an inch thick. So just in them accuracies, you are going to gain strength and have a better engine. If you look underneath, they are a non-windowed crank tunnel. So it's all solid alloy through there and does make them substantially stronger than say an L98 or an LS3 block. What we also do to these blocks, they get the crank tunnel align honed. Some tunnels will be in spec, in spec, but what we do, because we fit them with ARP main studs, it is the best option to get them align honed and that we know that they're 100% correct. Now the advantage of having a perfectly align honed crank tunnel is we then index that to machine our deck. And that deck is then 100% square to the crank tunnel. We do machine the valley surface just to clean it up. It's mainly a cosmetic thing. And we also install cam bearings. So they receive a, a Durabond cam bearing and a camshaft is test fitted and spun. So the advantages of a Gen 4 alloy block, say opposed to a Dart or an LSX block, is they are compatible with all GM components. So whereas you're buying a, an LSX block and you go, you don't, didn't realize this, but you go and buy a rear plate and you buy your cam plate and you realize that instead of a GM Gen 4 block, then parts cost about $180, you're up for $1,000. So there's a massive saving and advantage on sticking with a Gen 4 block. These blocks are finished home to exactly 4125 inches. Um, they are in spec to a piston that we have to suit these and most people will run a four inch crank. So that, that is how you achieve your seven litre, your 427 cubic inch engine, is your 4125 bore with a four inch stroke. And the four inch is the most common stroke of crank in the LS, so is economical and um, a proven option. So the good thing about a Gen 4 Alloy 5.3 is they do have all the mounting points for your factory alternator in your, in your VT to V's, VF Commodores. Um, they do have all the mounting points are the same for your engine mounts. There is no reason why anything on your existing Commodore V8 will not bolt to this block. A lot of the uh, cast iron variants will not have the third bolt for your alternator which does become a problem. And they often don't have this one 
this one here drilled out, which then needs to be tapped, well drilled and tapped. These blocks are compatible with most of your LS3 components. So if you wanted to, you could build a bottom end and run your 0821 heads. Um, and there's no reason why that wouldn't work well. It's just a matter of how much power you're trying to achieve. Um, your 0821 head will perform better on the larger bore. There is a lot less shrouding around your intake valve. So there are advantages um, in having that big bore as opposed to just cubic inches. But if you were working on a budget, you could build a rotating assembly, seven litres, and then run your 0821 heads and your existing LS3 manifold, and they will work well. All your timing covers off your LS3 L98 will fit on here, as would an LS1 if you didn't want the cam sensor hole. Um, sumps bolt on the same. Um, so water pumps, they're all, all the same through the LS range. So they are a very universal base block to use. So every one of these blocks that we refurbish we do supply ARP main studs with the block. It's just a better option due to the, the distortion when you do fit main studs and the fact that we were align honing it, that it's all in spec with these studs supplied. And as opposed to your, your factory main bolt, which are a one use bolt, um, they are cheap, but you will require a set when you align hone it and you will require a set when you assemble your engine so you're, you're buying them multiple times. Uh, these ARP bolts are one stronger and they are reusable. So it does add to the cost um, but it's paid for once and it does make a better engine. So a lot of our customers in the past have wanted to keep their original engine number now, we can perform this process on existing blocks. Um, obviously, it's not going to be as quick as coming down and, and grabbing one tomorrow um, off us, but we can do this full process less or more. We have options of pinning cam bearings or uh, we can put uh, roller cam bearings. Um, we can quote that for you and it is something that we can organise. Um, but if you want to keep your original engine number, if you were, if you were concerned about that, um, that is something we can do. Um, these engines do come with, a, with an engine number. A lot of them are US numbers. Um, but they all, all have existing numbers on them. So a common question is, is how much power am I going to achieve with, with one of these blocks? And we are just talking about a block. So it is very hard to answer without knowing what components and and what fuels and heads and, and what RPM you're gonna to try to spin the thing to. So, but the short answer is, how much drivability you wanna to sacrifice to, to gain a peak power, but you could be an engine like this, at the very mild end, you'd be at 550 horses, um, and you can push these well into the high 600s uh, if you wanna spin them and, and put a, put a big cam in them. So it comes down to how you want to use it and uh, the, the budget on the build. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our new 427 Malix block. Um, if you have any queries or questions, get in contact with us. You can jump on our website at malixmotorsports.com and stay tuned as we put one of these together in our coming videos.